Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install iLink Professional's text overlay with Clover POS. Uh, before we do that, let me just quickly show you where that item is just in case uh, if you want to purchase it. It's, uh, if you go to iLinkPro.com, you can click on this uh, icon right here on the main page or you can go under product in the first option where it says POS-CCTV video text and center and overlay um, and then submenu where it says coex POS text and center slash overlay. Um, let me just go ahead and do it from here. Click on this icon and then again same option coex POS video text and center and overlay. Uh, once you go in there, there's already an item made that already has the adapter uh, that you'll need to install this uh, uh, device with Clover POS, which is ITO-HD4K-C. Let's go in there and look at some of the options. Um, depending on where you're going to install this text and center device uh, or keep your text and center device, uh, we strongly recommend that you should put this right next to the DVR, but this way it's in secure location. Uh, and if you're doing that, you will need the short uh, uh, BNC cable, uh, which will go out from video output back to the DVR. Uh, if you have one, you don't need to purchase it. You can just keep it on none. Uh, same thing with the Ethernet cable. Uh, this is the cable that's going to be uh, uh, run, uh, which you'll have to run from uh, back of this text sensor device to wherever your uh, POS terminal is. If you have the Ethernet cables, once again, you don't have to purchase it. Uh, this is just both of these options are here for your convenience. Um, you can click down here and you can tell us which uh, camera do you have uh, that's going to be connecting with this particular device. Is it a 4K, 5MP, uh, 4MP? This device works with pretty much all, you know, all the cameras from the old CVBS to all the way to 4K. Uh, but what we do is if you specify this, we optimize it for that particular uh, resolution camera. So uh, please go ahead and do that. Uh, if you don't know, then just go ahead and put uh, others for stock, uh, and then you know we'll just keep give you the standard configuration, optimized configuration, which is uh, for 1080p cameras. Um, once you select option, uh, whichever option you have, uh, the camera is, uh, click on add, uh, and uh, uh, and then continue with the with the checkout process. Uh, so let's go ahead and now show you uh, what you will receive when you order this particular product. So when you receive the box, uh, you should get uh, this item, which is the uh, uh, Clover adapter, uh, which is pretty much USB to serial, and there's an adapter that converts serial into CAT uh, that you will need to run, and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, once you open up this box, uh, you, know, you have a, a little instruction for the text and serial device, which you don't really need. Um, programming, programming cable, you'll need this uh, if we need to change fonts and things like that. There's actually a video on our website uh, that shows you how you can uh, change the font sizes, uh, locations, and things like that. Uh, but for the most part, you will, you will not need this. Uh, this is again for if you want to tie in your cash door for alarms and things like that. So it provides you with that small uh, pigtail cable. And uh, here's the uh, uh, main device. And on the other side, uh, there's a power adapter. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, move to the DVR and show you how we can uh, hook up all of this together. All right, so over here, I've set up a small uh, uh, you know, uh, environment uh, for the video, so I can show you how we can uh, integrate all of this together. Uh, here's the text overlay device. Um, you know, As recommended earlier, we strongly recommend that you install this right by the DVR, so we're gonna go ahead and assume that that's what you're doing. Um, I'll go ahead and put this on top of the DVR. You can put it aside wherever you want. And uh, uh, you unplug the camera that you want to show the text overlay on. So in this particular example, uh, it's hooked up to the port three because it's telling me cam, you know, cam three. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the camera and put it into the video import of the text sensor device. Now, we need to go back from video out, back to where you unplugged your uh, coax camera from. Uh, so if you purchase that short cable, uh, you would use that, or if you have your own, then go ahead and use one that you have, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that small cable that uh, uh, if you had purchased it, it would come with it. So I'm gonna hook it up to where the camera was originally hooked up to and hook it up to video out port. Okay, so this kind of completes the loop uh, of this. And uh, I've already hooked up the power supply in the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in to the power port right here. and 
you got your cameras back, you will see that the text overlay device is booting up. Uh, that's pretty much what you have to do for us, the uh, hooking up to the DVR. Now, we want to run a CAT cable from the text sensor device to wherever your uh, POS is going to be. Um, in our example, the POS is right next to the DVR, uh, but if in your situation, uh, if it's 25 feet away, 10 feet away, uh, if you order the cable from us, uh, you can use that cable, or if you have your own cable, uh, you can use that. So in, in this example, since it's so close by, I'm using this orange CAT cable, it could be CAT5, CAT6, CAT3, it doesn't really matter because it's just a serial traffic. So this right here will go on the back uh, and it's labeled ECR POS COM1. So it needs to go into the COM1 port, all right? And we're gonna assume that you ran this all the way to the uh, POS. So I'm gonna leave this cable right here where the POS is. Okay, and now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the uh, how we're gonna uh, hook up these uh, POS adapter to the Clover POS. At the terminal end, you will see a similar setup. Uh, this is a Clover station. Um, I know many of our clients have Clover Mini, which is uh, uh, very similar, except that the you know it's a smaller terminal. Um, but uh, when you uh, go to the side, you'll either on the right and left side you will see Clover uh, USB hub. Uh, we can hook it up to any available port. I'm going to randomly select one and hook this up. This cable is USB to serial and has a Clover adapter. I know we get calls and uh, are asked quite a bit that can we use any USB to serial. We strongly recommend use the one that uh, we provide because it's been tested with many, many Clover stations. Also, we know for sure that the, uh, the, the security chip on this works with our uh, Clover uh, security camera app. Uh, so this will ensure that you don't have any issues and or trouble that you, you know, run into. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this Ethernet cable that you ran from the DVR to where the terminal is. Uh, right now, since we're closed by the short cable, uh, but it goes right in here. And uh, the physical setup is pretty much done. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, now look at the uh, software. Uh, you can download our Clover uh, security camera app from the link that uh, we provide when you purchased it. You can even call us and we can uh, uh, get, get you that link. Uh, you can go to our website. I believe the part number is iClover app. Uh, if you search on that on our website, you will find it. Uh, you'll notice that on the website it says $250, but if you purchased our text and center device or our NBR, any of our hardware, then the app is 100% free. Okay, so I already have the app installed, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure it. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in to my terminal. And uh, typically, uh, you, the uh, customer is probably going to be in the order or register screen. Um, you can just click on these, this round button. It's a, it's a, it's a Android based, so if you've used Android before, you're pretty familiar with this. Uh, click on that. It takes you to uh, the main screen. These are all the apps. Uh, you know, either it'll show up here, but most likely it'll be on the next page uh, where it says security camera. If you click on that, the first thing it's gonna do is gonna ask you for the default admin password uh, pin, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we've actually uh, have come up with that. So that way, uh, you know, your uh, staff uh, does not change the configuration and stop this uh, text overlay integration. Um, you can change that pin number, this admin pin, and you can change the default pin number, but please make sure that you remember that pin. Uh, once you get to the screen, you have three options, USB, TCP client, or UDP. Uh, we're gonna use USB, so I'm gonna click on that and just hit save, um, and pretty much done. But if you do wanna use, um, uh, you know, uh, if you don't wanna run the CAT cable from uh, your uh, uh, text inserter to the terminal, you can also use, we have an adapter, uh, we're calling it a communicator, it's IRS232IP-COM communicator. Let me just quickly show you. It's right here. It's, uh, uh, this is the device, and uh, basically, rather than running the cable all the way to the terminal, uh, you actually put this right where the device is and, and run the cable right into this uh, uh, port and on the other side you power it and you put this into the same uh, router or switch that your uh, uh, clover is connected to so it has to be on the same network uh, we'll go ahead and make uh, another video for this uh, if you want to have a detail but you can always call our support and they can also help you with this if you want to do it this way um, you can also use this 
uh, if you have other uh, terminals, um, uh, other PO, uh, DVRs or other applications. However, if you don't have our uh, hardware, you may have to purchase uh, this app. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and do run some test. Uh, I've already configured for USB. If you are using a TCP IP, uh, that device, you can click on that and type in the IP address port number and then save so it's very simple but let me go ahead and put it back on USB save I'm going to do a test and you'll notice that the test message is showing up on the screen uh, which means that it's pretty much done um, if you come back to the uh, app uh, when you download the app you know it'll work for three to seven days and it'll be on the temporary allowed mode uh, if you do see that uh, you can give us a call or you can email us with your uh, sales order number your uh, serial number of your either NVR or your uh, uh, text center device. Uh, if you have our NVR that has a POS support, then you don't actually need this device. It actually sends transactions directly to the NVR. So um, uh, you know, so it's that's pretty uh, pretty good thing. If you if you are buying a new system, uh, you might as well buy the system that already has a support for POS. Then you don't have to run any cables. You don't have to run this. You just have to download the app, put it on TCP, put in the IP address of the uh, NVR uh, port number and then save. Uh, so, um, so going back to registering, activating it, uh, you basically email us your, uh, your serial number of the device, um, and your shell's order, and the device ID, which is in the bottom right, and the merchant uh, number right here. Uh, if you email that to us or call us, and we can get that activated right away. Sometimes you will notice that it, it's gonna get activated automatically. Um, if we have the information uh, and we know that uh, this particular device pops up on our registration server, we may activate it automatically. We kind of uh, uh, keep an eye out, uh, and if our team sees that, they'll activate it for you. So, so right now, I'm in the temporary mode. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close it. I'll go back into register, and let's just run some transactions so you can see how it looks. We have other videos also show you. Um, so I'm pretty much running some transactions, random transactions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, select one and delete one and you'll notice that it shows up as remove uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit pay um, go ahead and do uh, $60 pay cash and you'll notice that it's telling you uh, that it was total was this it was paid by cash if it was paid by credit card it'll tell you credit card so that's important information too that uh, uh, we've seen a lot of the other POS uh, don't provide um, door open and this uh, website address it will actually go away you'll see that at the, end, at the end of the transaction but once the app is activated uh, you will not see this uh, website address and that's pretty much it thank you for uh, uh, watching this uh, one last thing I want to point out that uh, when you hook up USB to serial to the USB hub and you go into this app or first time uh, or when you go into the uh, security camera app uh, you may see a little pop-up, a black pop-up, a warning message that saying that basically is asking you for the permission. There's a little checkbox there, um, and you hit the checkbox and hit OK, and that message will not pop up again. So it may come up first time when you go into this soft, uh, this particular application, and it may come up again uh, first time when you go into the register application. But it will go away. The reason we're not seeing that right now because I have hooked up. Uh, this uh, on pretty much all the ports on this hub uh, and I've saved it so that pop-up is not uh, coming up so if you do see that pop-up not to worry about it just one time click on it uh, and hit OK and it should go away thank you again